All right, gamer pals, here's TK, and I'm going to get started back doing my good old Let's Plays. Well, no, this isn't the type of videos where I'm going to have Snowman in the background making his little side comments. This isn't a video where I'm just going to, like, like I don't know, praise Hellfire comms like I'm, like, always doing. And no, this isn't one of my little Maple Story videos, or my clips, as I call it, T Turtle Kermit clips kind of awesome but anyway this is just me trying to rev up the crowd before I start getting used to making those clips because I think they're funny as ever and you guys should consider watching them so without further ado let me show off my new LP <laughs> if you guys don't know what this is well if you can't read it's Pokemon trading card game awesome yep I remember playing this back when I was a kid and I got this game for being good because my mom was shopping at Walmart. And I couldn't buy anything. But uh, since I couldn't, I wasn't a brat, so she bought me the game instead. Kind of nice, isn't it? Anyway. Hooray! It's just basically like Pokemon Trading Card Game was just ported to the Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy Color. And... You're just basically playing the game as if it was Pokemon, just a card game. Kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, I'm playing a children's card game. But I mean, it's more realistic than actually playing with some monsters that can shoot fireballs at each other. Anyway, here's the Professor Oak. His name is Dr. Manson. And he's telling us that, oh, we're going to be the next Pokemon trading card master. And he's saying, test your might against our, my assistants. Test your might. Anyway, this video is just basically gonna just be showing off the vi uh, basics of the game. And yeah, I don't really need to learn everything because I already know everything. I just gotta explain it to you guys, right? I mean, you guys probably never even heard of this game. It came out in 1999, right around the time Super Smash Brothers came out. And God, was that game awesome. Anyway, let's start the first deck, or first game. By the way, I love this music. Anyway, if I was like like having like a training video done, I would like exercise to this. I don't know. D d don't ask me. I'm weird like that. Anyway. Yeah, we know. Basically, it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh! where you choose like a whole bunch of cards and put them down. This is more like a... I think it's actually better than Yu-Gi-Oh! personally. But, you choose cards, like, my first card was a Goldeen, and that's going to be my uh, starting card. And then, on, a, on my bench, like, after that card goes down, I can place out a star you. And we play, not by life points, but by, uh, hmm, uh, prizes, I guess? Basically, they're just your cards, so. And, yeah, I don't care, we know. You got to use energy cards to uh, give your Pokemon power so they can do their attacks. So you can't just say, Oh, Dark Magician, use Dark Magic Attack! No, it doesn't work like that. I got to equip them with, like, I don't know, Dark Magic Attack before I can actually use Dark Magic Attack. Like this. Yep. Now, Goldeen has the ability to attack. And instead of, uh, well, just hit percentages, uh, we just, yeah, no, never mind. Instead of, uh, life points, we got hit percentages. So our monsters don't automatically be destroyed until their health is gone. Which I like. But his, uh, Machop is obviously gonna kill me before, like, I kill it. Ah, great. Well, yeah, and the game is actually acknowledging it. It's all like, your Goldeen is gonna get freaking knocked out. So, you must evolve your Goldeen. And it's kind of like Palmerization, just without having the Palmerization card to fuse the monster, while the monster can just automatically evolve once you have the card with you. Now some, well, actually, the game hasn't even reached this far, because this is the only the first generation of Pokemon. But anyway, yeah, you could just put on uh, Seeking, and then I could add another uh, Water Energy. I like calling them water stones or stones by their specific name. And now I can attack. Or finish Machop off. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, wait, I did that wrong. I was not paying attention. Yeah, if you don't uh, do it the way they say, then they're going to just make you do it again, which I don't like. But, yeah, I was supposed to connect the, the psychic energy to them because they're all like, hey, I told you to put the psychic energy, even though it makes more sense to have water energy. Anyway... I guess it would have been smart if he'd switch, but I guess he doesn't have enough cars to retreat. But anyway, the uh, practice game in the beginning will always be the same no matter how many times you play it. You can come back here and duel him again, but you'll just get the same exact cards. And yeah, he's telling us that now we have to kill his Machop. Why does he have to give all these commands? Like, shouldn't it, like, ask, do you really need this practice duel at the start of the game? Instead of asking, oh, would you like to know the rules? Because, I mean, you're explaining me the rules in the practice game, so what was the point? Crap, and I wasn't even paying attention. Please let this be the right command. Horn attack. Yes! Alright, good. And Machop is taken down! I wish, like, I could have the Pokemon announcer from Pokemon Stadium on here. That's what made the Pokemon Stadium games great. Better even than, uh, Pokemon Coliseum. And holy crap, you got Eradicate. That thing scares the shit out of me. Just let me take, you go in a basement and you see Eradicate and you're like, Oh my gosh! It's a three-foot rat in my freaking basement! And sadly, Sea King is gonna go down for the crown. Yeah, once all my Pokemon are knocked out, I got I lose all my prizes. Well, no, I don't lose all my prizes. I just automatically lose the match. Because, well, we don't have life points, so they can't just attack us directly. Okay, let's place this Drowsy down. Whoops. And give him another to star you. Hopefully, this is what I'm supposed to do. Shit. Okay, what do I need to do? Choose seeking attack upon it. Oh, I was supposed to give it a damn drowsy. Fuck you, drowsy. From now on, you are my enemy because you made me have to redo this all over again. And I only got a few more minutes before I can actually finish this video. But I really shouldn't be mentioning that because, well, I got a lot of time to kill. Anyway. What are you gonna do? All your moves, like, it can either know Bite or Super Fang. And Super Fang just does half the damage. So, either way, he's just going to attack me, and he's not going to be able to kill me unless I'm at one. Which I was, so he probably would have killed me anyway. Oh, man. He killed my, uh, the Sea King. Sea King sucks. There's like a meme to Sea King, I can't remember. Oh, well. Anyway, go star you! That'd be sweet if, like, they, like, every time you, like, place the card down, like, a little... It'll, like, pop out of a Pokeball, like, dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Pokemon Trading Card Game. Played by your boy, Turtle Kermit. Anyway, let me attach that to Staryu, and... Aw, oh, shoot. Oh, well, let me just slap him up a little bit. I could have swore he told me that I'm about to evolve into a Starmie. I don't have a Starmie in my deck. Ah, crap. Ah, man. Ah, man, come on. I was supposed to kill you this turn. Now we're gonna die. Owie. That was a nice. Alright, let me get... Ah, come on, I'm gonna die now. Star you? Oh, wait, we have a potion, so I can just recover star you, star you's health. That's nice. Yeah, I know. Attach another one to freaking star you and attack. Yeah, I gotta listen to their directions because, well, now they're all like, err, if you don't follow the directions, we're gonna make you do it all over again. Alright, now slap them up a little bit. Yeah! Alright. Come on. I only got more and more. Minute. Please don't kill me. Or my star you, or I'll kill your mother. I like that game, by the way. Okay, yeah, now I can evolve into Starmie, thank goodness. And then I gotta use, use Star Freeze. Wait a second, Star Freeze? What the heck? That's not a attack in the game. That's the one of the unique things about this game. Is that they made up their own attacks that sound awesome. Alright, and we get to paralyze him, even though he's dead. 
Oh, wait, no, he's not dead. Shoot, I am running low on time. I'll probably end the video, like, as soon as I win. Please don't evolve into a Machoke. Oh, psh, he just knew that he was gonna lose. Oh, no, because he was paralyzed. Yeah, status effects on this game include paralyzation, uh, poison, and confusion. Now Machop only has... Yep, yeah, use Star Freeze and kill him so I could take the last prize and end this video. Thank goodness. Do, 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 do. Paralyze him anyway. Good, so now he's dead and paralyzed. The worst combination ever. Alright, we knocked out that Machoke. And we took all of his prizes, and we won! Yeah! This is Turtle Kermit starting off his new LP. Pokemon trading card game. So you guys know what to do. Write to me, subscribe to me. Thank you, and it's good to be back doing LPs. Good night, everybody. Wee! I'm alive!